Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dalam video kali ini kita akan bincang ke example 6 Ini adalah video terakhir kita untuk chapter 7 This video is about angular and linear velocities and acceleration So soalan ni berbunyi A carousel is initially at rest Okay, so the first info yang kita tahu di sini adalah initial angular velocity is 0 radian per second. At t is equal to 0, it is given a constant angular acceleration alpha of 0 0.06 radian per second. Now that's the second info. Alpha is equals to 0 0.060 radian per second square which increases its angular velocity for 8 seconds the next info is time 8 second so soalan ya at t is equals to 8 second determine the magnitude of the following quantities so the first thing yang kita nak kira adalah angular velocity at time t 8 second we use equation omega is equals to omega naught plus alpha t omega naught is 0 plus Alpha is 0 0.06 times 8. And the answer for question A is 0 0.48 radian per second. B, the linear velocity V. of a child located 2.5 meter from the center iaitu pada point pada point P now if a child is located at point P and the distance of the child from the center is 2.5 meter so maksudnya sekarang ni kita ada satu lagi info iaitu berkaitan dengan radius Okay, of that child from the center is 2.5 meter. Given that the angular speed or angular velocity is 0 0.48 radian per second, therefore, linear velocity V is equals to R times omega. R is 2.5 and omega is 0 0.48 radian per second dan kita dapat 1.2 meter per second is the linear velocity of the child question C the tangential acceleration of that child we already know the angular acceleration and the radius so kita boleh cari tangential acceleration dengan gunakan equation a is equals to r alpha radius is 2.5 and alpha is 0.0 6 radian per second square dan kita akan dapat the value of tangential acceleration is equal to 0 0.15 meter per second square so that's the answer for question C for question D we need to find the centripetal acceleration of the child so budak ni dia bergerak dalam bulatan so in circular motion an object move in circular motion will undergoes 
an acceleration towards the center which is equals to the v square over r value of v square uh, is the value that we calculated in uh, question b so 1.2 meter per second square that value over the radius is 2.5 meter the answer for centripetal acceleration is 0 0.576 meter per second square. And finally, for question D, we need to calculate the total acceleration of the child. Now, the total linear acceleration of the child is square root of centripetal acceleration square plus tangential acceleration square so total acceleration a is equals to square root of 0 0.15 0 0.576 square plus 0 0.15 square and that is equal to 0 0.595 meter per second square so that's all for this video hopefully dengan you study video ni you boleh cuba jawab soalan tutorial Uh, sama ada cuba sendiri ataupun cuba di dalam kelas tutorial sekiranya ada apa-apa masalah saya harap pada pelajar semua bertanya okay. soalan yang spesifik berkaitan dengan video ataupun berkaitan dengan soalan tutorial yang diberi so make sure you salin nota, you rujuk nota untuk selesaikan soalan-soalan yang akan dibincangkan dalam tutorial itu saja untuk video kali ini, thank you for watching